Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, my tutorials. Since the last video, I finished furnishing the two units that I have for uh, this plan. Then I would like to uh, show you in the 3D and uh, I use only the objects that um, Archicad provide us in the uh, Archicad library on the object tools. So to take a better look of uh, these uh, objects, I'm going to uh, select all the walls with use of a uh, market tool. Then with control A, I'm going to select all the walls. And then for the height, I'm going to put it on not linked and like 90 centimeter. Then I'm going to hit OK. And all the walls um, shortened for us. Now, if you uh, take a look at uh, all the objects that I have here, uh, we have um, very uh, different objects for uh, designing these two units. Honestly, some of them are uh, the same. I just changed some options and uh, specifications on uh, each uh, object. Uh, so this is the result of uh, uh, using object tools in Archicad. Also, you can um, change all the materials for um, each um, object and everything is uh, up to you based on the dimensions and materials. So if you would like to um, know more about how did I do uh, the plan with these furnitures, uh, just click on the link here and you will see um, how we can work uh, with uh, Archicad object tools. So I'm going to um, put back the walls to the uh, height that it was. And uh, in this tutorial, I would like to um, talk about these lines that we see on uh, some of the objects, which is um, like the hidden surfaces that we have under, for example, this kitchen counter. And also here we have some lines to show the hood for the uh, cooking. So I would like to uh, change the settings for uh, the lines that we have for the plan. And let's learn, practice and share. To control better the lines that we have for the plans, we can go to the options, element attributes, and here we have the lines. Here on the first button, we have all the line types that uh, we can use in Archicad. And the Archicad provide us uh, the most used um, line types that architects usually use uh, in the drawings. If we, for example, select uh, one object that we want to change the line types for this, uh, I'm going to the setting dialogs and here on the uh, representation, uh, we can see uh, all the lines that have been used for drawing this object. So if I scroll down, we uh, see that the cabinet counter line is uh, drawn by hidden line. So if I go back to the options, elementary attributes and lines, I will select the hidden line. And then here I can modify the dash and the gap between the dashes. So I'm going to reduce this size. Now it's like 2.12, which is uh, actually something around 21 centimeter on the plan. I'm going to change it to, for example, 0 0.5. And uh, the gaps, I'm going to put it as the same amount, 0 0.5. And then I'm going to hit OK. Then you see that all the hidden lines that have been used for these objects uh, updated to the numbers that uh, we put in. And if you would like, you can uh, change these lines or these numbers as uh, any amount that you would like. Also here, it has been changed to uh, what we uh, set up. Then, for example, here for uh, this hood, it uses a different line. Actually, uh, I'd rather to uh, these objects has uh, the same dashed line or hidden line like this. So I have two options. I can select the object, go to the setting dialog, 
And here on the representation, I can change the overhead line type, which is dashed, to the hidden line, which it will uh, change to the line that we just edited. Or if we have so many objects with the same line and we cannot go uh, through the whole plan and uh, change uh, these lines one by one, we can uh, put it back to what it was. I'm going to change uh, again the settings for uh, this line. So I'm going back to the uh, options, element attributes, lines. I'm going to select the dashed line. And again, I'm going to put this one to 0 0.5, also the gaps 0 0.5. And then I hit OK. This element has been changed to the uh, amount that we put for uh, the dashed line. In this case, we could have a lot of types of lines based on the plan and the scale that we are working on. So uh, now the dashed line and hidden line has the same distance and uh, it looks like the same. So I'm going to change um, the dashed line to uh, something different. I'm going to select the dashed line again. Maybe uh, for this one, I'm going to put uh, 80 and uh, the gap maybe even less, 40. Then I'm going to hit OK. And then we see that uh, this line is different with this line. Maybe uh, in some drawings, we would like to have a specific lines that uh, we don't have in the ARCHICAD line types. I prepared a line like this, which I drew it by uh, simple lines, and uh, they are not even grouped or um, they are not polyline, so I can uh, change uh, this bit if I want to. Uh, and uh, I choose something like this, which is like Matt Tutorials. And I would like to uh, make a line uh, based on th uh, this line that I just drew. So that would be nice to hit the like button right now. And I'm going to continue with uh, explaining how we can uh, draw a specific line the way that we want. Also, if this is the first time that you are watching my tutorials, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And also, if you uh, hit the bell sign, you will be notified immediately as uh, I upload a new tutorial. So uh, back to the line that we have, I'm going to select uh, these lines that I just drew with Ctrl C on the keyboard. I'm going to copy uh, these lines. Then here I go back to uh, the lines and uh, I'm going to click on the uh, new. Then here we could copy one of these lines that we have uh, on the library or we could select two types of lines that we have, a dashed line or a symbol. Uh, since we are working on the MT, which is Matt Tutorials, uh, I'm going to select on the symbol and then I'm going to add MT on the name. Then I'm going to hit OK. Here we have almost nothing. So I'm going to click on the paste. And then we have our line. Also, if we change uh, this scaling dependent to uh, the model size, we're going to have all the lines that we have, uh, which uh, sometimes on this uh, we cannot see. The next step is I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to select the line tool. Then here on the line type, I'm going to select the symbol MT, which I just uh, created. And then here I'm going to draw a line. As you see, this line uh, is uh, very big. And if I want to use uh, any kinds of uh, specific line on my plan, it's, it's, it's going to be uh, huge. So I would like to have the same size that I draw uh, a template one here. So I'm going to select this line. Then I'm going to Options, Line. Now the symbol MT is selected for us. Then here we have a gap. I don't need a gap between uh, these signs. So I'm going to put zero on the gap. And then for the dash, uh, I would like to uh, be mm, like 40 centimeter. But here we have 40 uh, millimeter. 
I know as the scale is the same, but we uh, usually draw the plan on the scale of 1 to 100. Therefore, uh, we should change uh, the dashed line to less than its uh, actual scale. So here I would like to uh, put like 4 millimeter. Then I'm going to hit OK. And immediately uh, the line will be changed to the exact uh, size of uh, the line that I uh, draw. Another point that I would like to explain is if I want to select uh, this line, I cannot click here. I should click in the middle because this line has been drawn by these two points at the beginning at the end. So I'm going to change this one and with Ctrl D, I'm going to bring it in the middle and then I'm going to select it with Ctrl C. I'm going to copy. Then I will go to the lines. And here I'm going to paste it. So the dash and gap dimensions uh, turns back to uh, the default. So I'm going to put the same numbers, zero gap and um, four millimeters of the dash. So I'm going to hit OK. Then immediately the line will be changed to the new edits that we did for the basic one. And now if I click on this line, I can select the line. We can also do the same uh, with the line types that ArchiCAD has. For example, uh, on this wall between these two units, I would like to draw a line uh, with, for example, an insulation. So I'm going to draw the line here like that. And as you see, uh, this insulation uh, is scaled like uh, this uh, wall of uh, 22 centimeter thickness. We know that uh, insulations are not uh, this big between the walls. So I'm going to select this. Then I'm going to the lines and uh, the insulation is, has been selected for us. So I'm going to change the dash dimension to, uh, for example, 0 0.1. Then I'm going to hit OK and the insulation line will be changed to something more logical, which, for example, if this wall is like 22 centimeter, uh, the insulation will be um, around uh, 10 centimeter with the M key. I'm going to select from here to here, and it's almost uh, 8 centimeter, which uh, seems fine for the insulation. This is it for this tutorial. If you have more questions, uh, please write it down on the comments. I'm going to read them all and answer them immediately. Don't forget to hit the like button and uh, hit subscribe. And don't forget that we are here to learn, practice and share. So if you know something more about uh, controlling and editing the uh, lines in ArchiCAD, please write down on the comments and let's learn all together. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.